In 1998, Smart Disk Corporation launched the FlashPath, an adapter that allowed people to use solid state media in a normal computer floppy drive. The model introduced in 1998 supported smart media cards. And this format was introduced by Toshiba in the summer of 1995 to compete with formats like Minicard, Compact Flash and PC cards. And they were primarily used in digital cameras. In the fourth quarter of 1999, other models of the flash path were released, which supported other multimedia formats, specifically Sony's memory stick and SanDisk's multimedia card. SmartDisk not only sold the flashback directly to consumers, but also allowed other brands to sell the flash path under their own brand names. One of these brands was the camera brand Olympus, and they sold the flash path under the name Cam Media Flash Path Floppy Disk Adapter for Smart Media. Now, Smart Media looks like this. They're pretty chunky, big cards. The funny thing is that they were initially called solid state floppy disk cards, and they are actually meant to look like a little floppy disk, even with the little corner there. So solid state floppy disk drive is kind of ironic because using the flash path, that is exactly what they ended up being. So let's put these aside and see what you get when you bought the cam media flash path in, I think, 1999. You get a little instruction leaflet that says that the product uses two provided lithium coin batteries, the CR2016, and that you should use a PCAT compatible machine or Mac. It comes with a pretty beefy manual in three languages, English, French, and Spanish, and then another very beefy manual for German, Italian, and I think Japanese. Oh, look, these are the two coin cell batteries that are <laughs> provided. That's so cool. And these are the drivers, Windows 95 and 98, NT4 and Macintosh. That's so cool. So basically for every platform of that era. And this is of course the little magic in the shape of a floppy disk. So let's get a real floppy disk here. And the dimensions are of course exactly the same because this is what it's imitating and instead of a disc it uses this piece of magic <laughs> this is where the coin cell batteries go and this is where you insert the uh, solid state card so yeah very excited to see how this works and if it works so let's head over to the windows 98 machine and uh, test this out we are at the Windows 98 machine. I'm going to use the SanDisk version of the flash path. I have two smart media cards. One is a 16 megabyte card, which is over 10 times what would have fit on a normal floppy. But I also have a 64 meg one. That's even cooler. So we're going to try that one. So let's insert it into the adapter. Let's insert it into the standard normal 1.44 meg floppy drive and let's check it out i already installed the software which is here which is a status program and a format tool uh, the status icon is in the system tray as you can see it says no flash path has been detected in any drive it isn't actively scanning for the flash path because that would mean it would constantly read from the a drive so as long as you don't use the A drive with the flash path in it, it'll just say it hasn't detected it yet. So if we go to my computer, you would normally expect if you want to format this, you would click on format. So what just happened is that the status monitor now says the flash path is functioning normally. The status is green and the battery is green. And now Let's say we want to do a quick format. Let's start. And it says we cannot do a quick format because it isn't already formatted. 
and then we say okay do a full format and then it says it cannot do the formatting and that is of course because windows expects a 1.44 meg disk and this is a 64 meg disk to format a disk you actually have to use the flash path tool that is supplied let's call this 64 megs and now it's formatting All right, the format is done and was successful. The very cool thing is that if you right click on the floppy disk in your Windows 98 machine and you say properties, it says 62.4 megs of free space. That is awesome. This is so cool. Let's find a big file. This folder is three megs, 3.8 megs. Okay, let's copy that over. And there we go. Copying over files takes a long time because the device is of course limited to the maximum speed of the floppy drive protocol. So don't forget that this was made to copy over photographs of your digital camera. And for that purpose, it was fast enough. So it copied over body count. And yeah, 3.8 megs on a floppy drive awesome now can we also run the game from the floppy drive that works sure enough yeah works fine the manual actually says that if you don't use the flash path that you should eject it because it uses batteries if it's inserted. So that totally works in Windows 98. Let's see if we can get it working in Windows 3.1 because I do have a Windows 3.1 install somewhere and I do have the correct driver. So let's see if we can get that to work. So we're booting from the DOS hard drive now. I just installed the Windows 3.1 drivers that I could find the FlashPath driver 2.00.3, 1998. So it does seem that it loaded a driver. It did that by adding a line to config.sys. And it also added a line to win.ini, which is this one. And that says to run the monitor. So let's start Windows. So it loaded the status monitor and it says that it didn't detect it, which is correct. So let's see if we can access the A drive. That doesn't sound good actually. An error occurred reading the drive. Now what I will try before giving up this is a 64 meg card, which did work in Windows 98. I also know that this one works, the 60 meg card in Windows 98. Let's see if Windows 3.1 likes that card better. Sadly, no. It does say on the box here that it is for Windows 3.1, NT and Macintosh. So it should work in theory, but it doesn't. But it does work in Windows 98, which is awesome. SmartDisk ended up selling all of its assets to Verbatim in 2007, who still use the brand name SmartDisk for a range of their products. So this was a closer look at the FlashPath, a floppy disk adapter that lets you use solid state storage in a normal default floppy drive. Amazing, amazing technology and really cool that I got to check it out. I hope you liked it too. For the people in the comments, yes, you can also replace your floppy drive with a GoTech drive, of course, and then you can use disk images. But if you want to use the real thing, you want to stick to real floppies, then, well, perhaps you can check out the flash path. So for now, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time on the Retro Game Couch.